We will take you to the next level. Watch Real Life Matters Monday to Friday right here. Rhythm. Rhythm. Blessed love from Barbados. Or as we so beautifully like to say here on the island, what going on, lovely people? I'm Bugging Akente, the spirit of the people. I'd like to welcome you to the Rhythm Caribbean Top 10 Countdown, bringing you some of the hottest artists, songs, and videos from across the entire Caribbean. So stay tuned. Rhythm. episode of Real Life Matters. I'm your host D-Boss and today I'm telling you I can't, I'm so excited to hear this woman. I'm not saying woman as a woman because <laughs> she is uh, an artist. Her name is Rosita Stone. Welcome. Hi. Hi, how are you? Good. Great to see you. Great to see you. <laughs> Look at you, got all your instruments and all that stuff in the back that you play. Bye. I do. I have lots of stuff. Yeah. All right. Well, how did you get started, Rosita Stone? I got started in um, in dance class, actually. And I'm just trying to pick my dog up here because he, the Cuban wants to say hi. <laughs> I started. <laughs> hi, hi, Cuban. Hi. And, <laughs> this is Real Life Matters. He's in the show, too. <laughs> <laughs> So I started cute. off in dance class, and I was uh, I became a professional dancer. I did everything from, you know, tap, ballet, jazz, flanco, and everything you can think of. <laughs> and then I I started to sing just naturally because my mother played uh, guitar and the Mex Mexican rancheras, you know. So she had that going on, and and we really absorbed a lot of different influences. We lived in different. Um, some different countries around the world, um, traveling with my dad, well, and living in these places and absorbing different cultures, and and it was amazing. So I just naturally sang different instruments, and then we had a piano at home, so I would try to figure things out by ear, just you know, listen to the radio and try and figure things out. So that's really how I started, and then I got my first um, job as. A, a singer in, in front of, you know, like, at first I was a backup dancer and then I was put as the lead singer and we toured, toured for the United Nations and toured around the world and that was the first time I really was in front of people singing and then I, you know, I figured, why not, I keep going, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, can you tell me a bit about your background because I know you have a, a, a very creative, unusual mix. <sighs> yes, my mother's Mexicana, she's Mexican and she's amazing very colorful and and creative and my dad is from um his family are from originally from the ussr uh, a mix of russian and, and ukrainian so a bit of both so you got it all <laughs> my dad, <no. laughs> okay so can you tell everybody your style of music that you do well, that's an interesting question because I've, um, I, I am what's considered a multi-genre artist. I will perform different styles depending on what project I'm working on, depending on what it's for, who I'm working with. So I love soul. I love, I love you know R and B. I love you know Spanish music and different types of music in Spanish and um, you know so it it varies. It varies. All right, well, well, yeah. sing, well, sing us something, a little something, and if you want to sing in your whatever language, I'll give you whatever your choice you want to sing. Oh, so you sing something in Spanish? You can sing something, yeah, like, go ahead. I want, oh my we, gosh, we're yeah, testing it, we're going to test you out. I'll, I'll sing, okay, because my mom used to love those uh, rancheras, right? She said, uh, um, 
Qué bonitos ojos tiene Debajo de esas dos cejas Debajo de esas dos cejas Qué bonitos ojos tiene Malagueña sale rosa Besa tus labios quisiera Besa tus labios quisiera Malagueña sale rosa Y decirte niña hermosa Dragon Festival 2021 has gone virtual and global. Experience the celebration of the Chinese New Year on Thursday, February 11th at prime time in your country. The festival features a host of Barbadian and Chinese artists presenting Chinese Kung Fu, acrobatics, dance, and music. And from Barbados, some of the island's top artists, including soca stars, dancers, jazz musicians, and more. Yes, a fusion of Barbadian and Chinese cultures. Girl, you can sing. You can sing. You can sing. You could sing. Yeah. And I thought I would have situated at the piano, and I would have done something there. Ah. Well, we. Well, hey, if you can sing an acapella, you can sing, girl. That's a little bit of a Mexican thing. So yeah. So what? So can you tell us a little bit about the 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 video we're gonna see at the end and the song and what made you write that song? Oh, I wrote that song. Well, I wrote it uh, it, um, it was another person's experience I thought it was um, a, a cool little twist uh, a, a man he fell in love and then he fell in love again <laughs> double <laughs> trouble because they like the women and you know he was talking to me about the women were so similar they were like almost the same person it was you know and it was uncanny so he was like equally in love with these two women and he was mm -hmm freaking out because he didn't know what to do and then they found out and they were like wow you're like my twin so they couldn't really hate each other because it would be like hating themselves so they gave them time to you know figure it out and they were all like freaking out and sweating bullets and oh, who's he gonna pick and then after the women were like you know what I I'm I'm better than this I'm not gonna wait and then he didn't pick them either right because he knew if he would have picked one or the other he'd have hell to pay so he ended up picking the bottle because he was so stressed out <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I, we're not going to ask what kind of bottle. <laughs> <laughs> so I thought, you know, I put it simply to a song. It was, you know, it's drama. It's drama, right? So, right. Yeah. It was fun. It was fun to record. So we, we just, I recorded it with Dennis Nieves. He's, he's amazing. He's done production work for Shakira and Jennifer Lopez and all sorts of people. And um, so we, I went there and I just did it on the piano and then we wrapped the song around it and it turned into what it was. It was, it was an experiment really. And then he had, uh, he has a room there to do videos. We shot the video and it was done. So we put it out just to see how it, how it would do. We had a lot of fun with it actually. Yeah. So can you tell everybody who you've worked with in your oh long goodness. career? <laughs> I have. I've sang with Michael Bublé and I've opened concerts for like Carlos Vives, who's a Colombian superstar. Um, he's amazing. I've song written with some amazing hit writers in Nashville. I've um, I worked with uh, a couple of Grammy winning producers. I'm, um, yeah, I've, I've traveled and I've, you know, had a lot of fun too. done some TV. I did, you know, uh, like starting as a dancer, I did a lot of uh, shows, you know, the beginning as dancing and um, yeah, I mean, I'd have to get out my resume. I, I can't even remember. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> okay, well, who would, you, who would you like to work with, uh, Rosita? Oh, wow. Who would I love to work with? Mm -hmm. oh, that you have it. That I have it? Mm -hmm. Shakira. I'm gonna okay. show that baby some moves. I got some. I, I'm gonna you show got some, some moves, yeah. probably too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm gonna, yeah. Go so check it out for sure, for sure. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay. And when you, you know, because you're, you're, you were such, you know, like you've been primed, you've already been in your career. So, what kind of legacy would you like to leave to the people 
when you move on. A legacy of love, really and truly. Because really, that's what it all comes down to in the end, for me. Um, the legacy of, you know, a lot of things have changed in my life. Because you had a bit of a tragedy, right? My, my husband died in a, in a tragedy, and I, I really shifted since then, like, completely. Mm -hmm. I don't do things anymore to... I mean, the reasons I do things now are, are different. Mm -hmm. um, chasing fame, things like that don't really interest me. It's more of how can I give back? And I, I want to have fun because there's so much stress involved in life in general. I want to be able to have fun as well. And, and Well, say the loss that you had, the loss that you had has made you stronger. It has. It, I, I, it has, I mean, I, I have no choice but to keep going, but yes, I believe I am. And I see things so much differently now. I really do. You know, what's really important. And at the end of the day, just squeezing that bit of joy out of life and just hanging on to that because it's fleeting. It's not always there for all of us, right? We can't always stay in this perpetual state of bliss, I wish. But uh, so now, well, this I is well, this is the sneak peek. This is Rosita Stone at her best. You see, let the public know something about you that people probably didn't know. Maybe you know, know that you had a tragedy, and and you're still doing music and you're still pushing through. Well, it took me uh, some time, um, mm -hmm. so I'm somewhat of really I'm coming out of hiatus into a okay. pandemic. But you know, I'm still going. I'm like, yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna do this. You know. I'm going to do it. We're here talking about the Jesus Ferreira case, which is the police shooting case. Yes, it was. You represented Mr. Ferreira. Yes. Tell us a little bit about the facts of the case. This was a series of unfortunate uh, incidents, so to speak. Everything was done that you could do wrong in police procedures was done wrong here. The police have a confidential informant, a snitch. The snitch tells them that so-and-so is a drug dealer and is armed and dangerous. It, it did take me out for a while after Alex passed away. It, it did. I, you know, um, but, but now, he's still in I, with you. He's still with you. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> he's it's, still it's with you. Well, he's watching you from wherever he is now. <laughs> and yeah. seeing that you went through it because a lot of people don't like to talk about if they did a tragedy because people are only seeing Rosita Stone the the dancer the musician the artist the composer all the above and here That's you great. are you know and, and and like a lot of people don't look at things in life like you know things happen to people and how do you cope when you still got to be rosita stone That's you right. can't just stop that's right because i'm a mother i'm a sole parent and a, mo a mother first and foremost and mm -hmm. my daughter is like the crowning jewel of my life and so I've changed so much around now in the way I um, in the way I process things and the way I just go forward in life and the way I think about everything is different because any day I, I take each day like any day I might not I might not be here tomorrow in mm -hmm. the flesh so what am I going to do today about it right you take everything day by day every day I don't I don't take for granted anymore anything like during like every day that goes by it, it, it has to count, it, and I make it count. I make it count somehow. Right. Yeah. Okay, so what can more, what is everybody gonna be seeing for, or, you know, Rosita Stone in 2021? You know, more what are music. we looking forward to? <laughs> oh, I got more music coming out. Okay. Um, I sing in, in different languages, but English and Spanish are the songs that I've worked on. I have several more singles to come out with in English as well. And, and I just can't wait to get them out. <laughs> we can see. I'm ready. I'm you're ready, ready, ready. Like, you're ready, ready to burst out of the house there. <laughs> I know, I really am. I really am. I'm ready to go, you know? Because like a I, hot chili I, pepper. It's been, such a, it's, it's been such a metamorphosis I've gone through. I went right inside of myself and completely disappeared from the world. And now I'm just ready to, like, be in your face. Like, hello. <laughs> Back. <laughs> you're back okay so since you're back where can people find you on the social medias if they want to reach out to you they want you to play or, or do something for them just tell tell us where they can reach out to you instagram rosita stone music that's rosita r-o-s-i-t-a stone rosita stone music instagram 
Facebook as well. All right. Are you on and Spotify you can, and those? Are you? Is your music on there too? Yes. Yeah, and YouTube as well. Rosita Stone. You can find me there. Yeah. A lot. So you know, but you know, Rosita, I do want to thank you. Oh my God, <laughs> is this you're so excitable? <laughs> I'm just saying, you got to come back again when you have some new things going on. And I know you're, you're always in the studio. I so. do. I'm in the studio quite a bit. I'm working now with a producer in L.A. He's worked with Fergie from Black Eyed Peas and See? a bunch of other people. So I'm co-writing something with him. I'm writing here. I'm just in it. I'm in it now. I'm just spinning plates and seeing what happens. <laughs> well, you're spinning place, and everybody see you on Real Life Matters. What's happening? So everybody, look out! You gotta look out for Rosita Stone in 2020. She's ready. She's ready to be in your face and ready to be in everything. Everybody at home who's watching today, <laughs> and and she can communicate with you in all different kinds of languages. So you really. <laughs> You all right. Yeah, yeah. I won't miss anybody out. That's right. No. <laughs> all right. Well, Rosita, I do want to thank you for coming and you know talking to everybody today and telling us your story. Yes, you had a little bit of a twist with the tragedy and stuff, but you know what? You're still here. I am. All right. That's right. Thank you so much. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Hey, all right, and I thank everybody for tuning in today and watching Real Life yeah. Matters. So bye for now. Okay. Bye. Bye. <laughs>
Welcome to Real Life Matters. I'm your host, D-Boss. Real Life Matters is a power-packed, inspired program that brings you real people with real matters. If you are a company, brand, or artist, we will take you to the next level. Watch Real Life Matters, Monday to Friday, right here.